when a child makes a mistake, for example, and comes to the parent to say, where do I keep my plates? Some African parents would say, Bele Minori, that means put it on my head. <laughs> Hello again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time of seeing this face, my name is Noye and I'm a Nigerian teacher. I live and work in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're returning, subscribe. I'm super excited to have you come join me one more time here. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for showing love to this channel so if you're new here please consider clicking on the subscribe button tap on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when i drop my next video so very quickly in today's video i'm going to be sharing some of the tips and tricks that we use as teachers to help children your children are with you now and you're currently the teachers with them so i'd like to share some of the things that we do especially in schools because school is a structured place and some of the tips and the tricks that we use in schools may work for you at home so if you're somebody who likes what i'm doing please keep watching so very quickly i'm going to put these tips and tricks in one playlist so that you can have to watch all of them so i'll be doing them in series so today i'll just share two of them with you and later back to share the remaining ones with you i hope you find them very useful if you have a child you love children then these tips will be very useful for you tip number one i shared this tip number one in my last vlog and if you've not watched it i'm going to link it up in the card up here so that you can go watch it so that trick that tip is this always use positive expected behavior to give instructions to children avoid using negative unexpected behavior when giving instructions to children this is what i mean positive expected behavior let the child know what exactly it is that you're saying in the instruction that you're giving negative unexpected behavior you're just telling the child what not to do so most times children get very confused you agree with me that in schools we have very structured rules because rules get up organized with so their rules pasted in the school environment if you're walking down the stairs if you're climbing the stairs get into the library in the labs there's rules everywhere in the classroom and these rules are well structured and if you check very good rules these rules don't come in a negative unexpected behavior so let me share some of the positive expected behaviors with you if you do not want a child to run down the staircase or run up the staircase instead of saying don't run down the staircase now don't run this down the staircase is a negative unexpected Expected behavior. So why are you sharing that with the child? Why not say what you expect to say in the child? Walk down the staircase or walk up the staircase. Now these are some of the tips and tricks that you may not have noticed as parents, but these tips and tricks will work very well, especially if you study child developmental psychology and how the brain works and how the brain receives instructions. So I want you to start trying some of these tips because they could work for you. In this part of the world i hear when some parents say don't do this and then the child is wondering so what should i do don't touch it and so what should i do so it's important that you say take your plate from the dining area to the kitchen instead of saying don't leave your plate on the dining table i think that's really not fair on a child who is learning to understand how instructions are given out so you, you want to help this child to understand how rules are being meted out so you want to share the positive expected behavior with that child instead of giving just a negative unexpected behavior in the chat i hope this makes sense to you so if it makes sense please give this video a thumb up and the second one is repetitive reinforcement in children when you're given instruction most parents get very tired if they have to keep repeating instructions i've said this like five billion times how many times do you want me to keep saying this particular thing in this part of the world when a child makes a mistake for example and comes to the parent to say where do i keep my plate some african parents would say Bele Midori, that means Put it on my head. In other words, the parents is tired of saying, get it into the kitchen sink. Don't you just get it? But then you don't have to get tired. They're your children for crying out loud. And then remember that you're, that you're currently the teacher in the house now. So you have to learn some of the tips and the tricks that we use. Now in schools, we do repetitive reinforcement because we know that if we keep saying it and we keep instructing it and we look for other means of explaining these concepts to the student, they get to a point where they understand it clearly. And sometimes, believe me parents, you've not said these things correctly to the student, that's why sometimes they make this mistake and they keep asking you questions. In my school, we jokingly talk about children having academic cupboards and that teachers always take away this cupboard. So whatever you have to do to take away that academic cupboard, you have to keep doing it, especially when they go back 
home during the holiday and they have to return to school you have to keep reteaching and keep reinforcing so please don't get tired repetitive reinforcement is important avoid shunning them or giving them responses that scare them away like put it on my head and the child is wondering what's happening here instead of just giving the instruction again and reminding the child of what to do i hope these two tips are useful and i hope they make sense to you now if they do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up by giving it a thumbs up more people get to watch it subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed to this channel and thank you so much for how far we've come and i'll see you god willing in the next video bye for now if you're new to my channel click on the subscribe button tap on the notification bell like it comment and share thank you